Right off the bat, I want to say I love The Queen's Gambit. I thought it was excellent. I binge-watched the whole thing, I was entertained the whole way, and I especially thought the first episode was a masterpiece. Speaking of which, spoiler alert for the first episode. That all being said, there's a tiny nitpick in the first episode that really bothered me. And if you're familiar with chess, you probably already know what it is, but it's in this scene. Those things are called openings. Is that one of them? Yes. The Queen's Gambit. No! No, that's not the Queen's Gambit! It's just the Queen's Pawn opening. In order to be a gambit, you have to gambit something. And, okay, okay, Mr. Scheibel's not, like, a great player. You could maybe argue that he doesn't know any better. Except there's this. Poison fish. Nidorf. So the Nidorf and Levenfish take five and six moves respectively to be defined as their distinct opening. The Queen's Gambit takes two. Even the Scholar's Mate, which is a, just a trap to beat beginners, takes three. And I appreciate them putting all these real openings in, including the ready opening. Hang on, d d did he just play f5? And, and, and to get to this position later, she must have used the Lissitzen Gambit. Man, these two players are wild. Anyway, to get all these particular openings correct, but then not get the Queen's Gambit correct, is really weird. Especially when it's, you know, the name of the show. And with Kasparov and Pandolfini as consultants, they definitely could have gotten this right. Maybe they, they threw it in there on purpose so people like me would complain about it, thus giving it more attention. Anyway, that's my video. Go watch The Queen's Gambit if you haven't. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thanks for playing along.